Hello everyone, welcome once again and we have um, a reciprocal equation over there so we are to find the reciprocal equation of this expression so we have s to the power 4 minus 3 s cubed plus 4 s squared minus 3 x plus 1 so what we are going to do now is to divide each side by s squared so we are going to divide true by s squared now, after we divide through by s squared, we are going to get the reciprocal of each of the um, s exponents. So we have s to the power 4 minus 3 s cubed plus 4 s squared minus 3 x plus 1 equal to 0. So all of this, then we are dividing by s squared. So we are going to get um, s squared here, then we are going to get 3 x here, then we have 4 here, then we have 3 over x then 1 over s squared being equal to 0 so this is what we have after we divide through by s squared so you can see that we have s squared here s squared here we have s squared each reciprocal x here and the reciprocal of x here so we have s here plus 1 over s then also minus 3 x here minus 3 over x here plus 4 being equal to 0 so what i guess this was to um group the um, s values which is reciprocal so we have this and also that now we can write this over here factorizing three out then we have x and we have plus one over x here plus four being equal to zero so we realize that s plus one that and we also have this over here so we're going to let um a variable a be equal to 1 over x here so if a is equal to this then what about a squared so a squared is just um this then we square them now where when we expand this then we should get something like s plus then that then also 2 this is what we should get well after expanding this now this equation over here corresponds to that but just that we have positive 2 over here so in order to make this equal to um, that then a squared then we, we subtract right because if um, in that case or this is represented that then it is a squared minus 2 then it should be equal to this so I'm going to um, we are going to replace um, all of this by that okay so from here we have um, over here we have um, this replacing the equation over there so we have the whole of this being a squared minus 2 then minus 3 here uh, this is just a plus 4 being equal to 0 so we have a squared minus 3a, then also minus 2 plus 4 is just plus 2 being equal to 0. So we have um, a quadratic equation over here. So what we are going to do now is to find two values, we multiply, we get positive 2, we add these two new values, we get negative a. And these values are a squared, then we have minus 2a minus a plus 2 equal to 0 so we yeah, so we have um so we take this and that and also that so we have a outside then minus 2 then we have negative outside then we can have a here then minus 2 mm -hmm. equal to 0 we have a minus 2 and also a minus 1 equal to 0 a minus 2 equal to 0 then a is just 2 a minus 1 equal to 0 a equal to 1 so this is what we have for the value of a now what we are going to do next is that since we have the value of a so we are going to substitute the value of a into the expression over here because we said if a is equal to x over 1 over x right so let's do that so over here let's take for the first part if a is 2 then which means that a is 2 equal to s plus 1 over x here then we multiply each 
both sides by 2 so multiplying by x sorry x squared plus 1 then we have x squared minus 2x then plus 1 equal to 0 so quadratic equation two values when we multiply you are going to get that now if you look at this equation over here when we solve it you are going to get imaginary values you are going to get imaginary values and therefore for this so um so we have um x squared so these values are one and one so they should be negative so negative x here then another negative x plus one equal to zero x out x minus one then we have um x then minus one also here so we have x minus one here then x minus one which is just x being s minus one equal to zero then we have s being equal to one equal to one so let's do for the other part so we have if a is equal to two remember we have two values of a two and one we've done for the one and we add s to be one so if a equal to two we have um sorry when a equal to one that's the one equal to x plus one over x here then we have x equal to x squared plus one so we have x squared minus x here plus one equal to zero now two values when you multiply you get one when we add these values you get negative one so realize that it is not possible to get that and at the end of the day we should be getting an imaginary values which um, um shows that um it has no solution so over here it has no solution because we are going to get imaginary values and therefore since um, if a equal to 2 s we add s to be equal to 1 and therefore we can conclude that x is equal to 1 so you can substitute the value of x here into the general equation um, to check whether the it will, it will be equal to zero. So thank you very much for joining me in this section. I will meet you in another section.